Hi friends, welcome to day one of 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments, hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace and Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. Links to the hosts and the playlist will be in the description box. For this DIY, I'm using one of the two-pack ornament balls from Dollar Tree, Fix-All Glue, Dollar Tree, and then these uh, pigment inks that I found at Dollar Tree for using with resin. So I've already um, set this resin and these gummy bear molds that I found on Amazon. It was a pack of like five or six for candy making, and I will try to link those in the description box. But um, this is just a spare one that I use when I'm crafting, and like I put like hot glue in it. But these are all resin and I mixed the colors. I only found three colors at Dollar Tree. So I thought it'd be really cute to have an ornament ball covered in yummy looking gummy bears. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of these out and put a bit of the fix all and let it set and get tacky. And then I'll attach them to my ornament ball with um, a bit of that fix all and then a little bit of hot glue as well. Okay, now that all the gummy bears are attached, I'm just taking a bit of Mod Podge to paint in between the little spaces, and then I'll sprinkle super fine holographic glitter that I found at Michael's in between those spaces, just so that it covers the little spots where some of the glue kind of um, came out from underneath the gummies, and it'll have like a kind of a sugared look to it. And once the Mod Podge completely dried, I took some of this candy cane looking twine that I found at Dollar Tree just to add as a hanger on top. And that was it for my sweet gummy ornament. So I have a candy, a uh, craft jar from Easter, a Barbie, a uh, roll of gift trim from Hobby Lobby, my same candy cane trim from Dollar Tree, a winter branch from Dollar Tree, um, a tower block from Dollar Tree, um, and some um, polyfill. So I want to make a little hanging Barbie ornament, but first I'm going to have to go ahead and get some holes added to the top. Before I add the holes in the top, I go ahead and set the Barbie inside to see how she's gonna stand up. And I decide to elevate her with one block. And then ultimately I added two blocks just to make sure that her whole uh, body was visible. And then using a pair of long tweezers I found in the automotive section at Dollar Tree, I managed to get my twine threaded through and knotted. And then I moved on to um, securing the blocks to the top of the lid. Now, initially, I just added my glue and um, set the blocks on top. And then they kept moving around. And then I realized I had to pop the piece of paper that was inside the lid out. And then I secured the blocks to just the base metal of the lid. So once the glue in the lid had thoroughly dried, I set the doll on top of the wood blocks and then I discovered that I needed to snip off the ends on uh, both ends on the bottom just to make sure that I'm able to screw the top on and that the ornament will be secure. So 
it looked like it's gonna be a good fit. So I add my fix all glue and let that set up and get tacky. And once it's tacky, I add a bit of hot glue and then get the doll set on top of the blocks. So I have a scrap piece of styrofoam that I'm gonna hot glue behind the doll. I'm gonna use this to help secure the pieces of the glittery white branch that will be in the background. I'm just adding little holes into the styrofoam with scissors, add my hot glue, and then add my little pieces of white branch. Once I get enough uh, set up behind the doll, I realize that it's a bit sparse, so I find a, a small um, white mini tree, remove the base, and um, get that hot glued behind my doll as well. Okay, so before I add my polyfill, I see that I need to go ahead and paint the base. I thought maybe that it wouldn't show that much if I just put the polyfill, but just to be safe, I feel like I need to just cover all this pink and part of this wood in white, and then once that's dry, I can go ahead and add my polyfill all around as faux snow. And here's my completed Barbie ornament. This Barbie Rainbow Cove princess is now a Christmas princess. I think this turned out super cute and I'm going to be gifting this to one of my nieces. So for this DIY, I'm using tumbling tile blocks and this Pro Bond Max wood glue that I actually found at Dollar Tree. So um, to start out with the tumbling tile blocks, you're going to take three, glue them side by side vertically, take one horizontally to go across the top, and then for um, the next piece, you can either cut this in half. I chose to cut mine in half, or you can just use the whole piece if you don't have anything to cut it in half with. I have a Dremel um, hand tool, so I can easily cut mine. But we're making um, a little cutting board, a charcuterie board. So once you get them all glued and they're secured, you'll end up with something like this. So I have three of them here. Like I said, I cut my tops off. I cut my handles in half. We make mini charcuterie board ornaments so what I will do on camera is add holes so that we can hang them. Okay, all the holes have been added, so we can add a hanger. And that Dremel, it actually burns through the wood, and there's like little black specks flying everywhere. But anyhow, okay, so these are going to be charcuterie boards. So I found those donut erasers at Dollar Tree in like the office supply area. And then I have some little faux foods that I found on Amazon, and I will try to link those in the description box. And then for the third uh, charcuterie board, we're going to 
make our own little treats out of clay. So Dollar Tree has all sorts of little food shaped erasers. So just check your office supply area in your Dollar Tree to see if you can find those. Okay, so this is just air dry clay, Crayola. Just pinch off a bit. Make a little ball and just kind of press it between your fingers. Make as many of these as you want. Let it dry and then you can add them to your board. You can have cookies. Once they dry, they turn this color. You can see the variation. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these painted and I'm gonna add these to my board. I'm gonna have a cookie board. So I decided just to go ahead and add six and I'll just do three different varieties of cookies. The first one I'm gonna paint up will be chocolate chip cookies and I have that khaki and then that real brown will be used as the chocolate chips. And then next I have burnt umber that I will use for little mini Oreos. And then for the last cookies, we're gonna use um, light mocha and um, cottage white to make some little sugar cookies. And then I'll just use some of my paint pens just to add little dots for faux sprinkles. And now that all the paint has dried, I'm gonna flip these over and add a bit of fix all, let this get tacky, then add a bit of hot glue so I can get everything secured to the mini boards. And then to hang them, I'm gonna use my handy dandy peppermint twine and just hang each of these with this. So if you want a cutting board that's a bit bigger, you can take eight tower blocks glued together in two rows of four and add a full size block for the handle to make a larger cutting board to add some words or maybe add a recipe or um, maybe you can put like um, mom's kitchen or um, if you're doing this as a family project, one of your kids could like put their name and then they could add their favorite little treat to the larger board. I'm just gonna use this um, mesh screen stencil, Joy to the World, great song for Christmas time. And um, I'm going to end up adding just a bit of um, distressing just around the edges. I don't wanna pull off a lot of the paint. I only did one thin um, coat because I didn't want this to be like looking super brand new but I just want to do just around the corners, around the edges. I'm just gonna just take off just a bit of that and then I'm gonna add a mesh ribbon bow and then a piece of table scatter as a little accent on top. And here's my completed cutting board. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. I love the way this turned out. So rustic, but such a great meaning. Love it. That's all I have for you today. But let's look back at the other 
DIYs from this video. All of these ornaments were so much fun to make and I hope you've gotten some sort of inspiration for some budget friendly Christmas ornament ideas, fun things you can do with your family. And don't forget that there is a playlist. I'll have a link to both of the host channels and the playlist in the description box. 12 full days of great Christmas DIYs. Please tune in. I hope you have a blessed holiday season.